Hey, hey, it's your host Sauce from the Viral Kingdom, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create your very own 3D NFT art. It's going to be incredibly easy and noob friendly, but before we do get into that, if you guys could go down and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new, it would mean a ton as we're trying to hit our end goal of 100,000 subscribers. So if you like NFT related content, be sure to hit that sub button. With that out of the way, let's get right into the sponsor of today's video, which is Fishman's laboratory fishman's laboratory is a brand new nft project with so much hype they have over 60,000 followers on their twitter and in their discord server they have over 51,000 members at the time of recording this video everything within this project from the website ui to the nft itself is so artistically done to a t the 3d art sneak peeks that they've been showing on their discord server looks awesome and i can't wait to see what this project has to offer Offer. There's currently so much hype within it and if you join up through discord all of their links will be linked down in the description You can view that hype firsthand. So once again huge shout out to fishman's laboratory for sponsoring this video All of their links will be linked down in the description now on to the tutorial So like I was saying today We're gonna teach you guys how to create 3d nft art using the software called blender blender is a free 3d program So I'll have the link to that down below where you can go and download Download it. It's by far one of the most popular 3D softwares in the space and majority of the 3D projects that you probably see in the NFT community is created in Blender. So we're going to be using Blender 3.0 for today's tutorial. There might be a newer version out on the internet, but we're going to be sticking with 3.0. So if you do want to follow along, that's the version we're using. So let's get started. Once you open up the Blender software, you'll be presented with this interface right here and we're just going to select the general file then you'll get this square grid with a square block in the center as you can see on the left there is a camera and in the top there is a light if you're confused don't worry everything will be step by step i know blender can be very intimidating at first so to teach you the basic features of blender if you go to edit mode and then select g on your keyboard and drag out one of the vertices you can change the corner like so and if you want to undo that you can hit the escape key now if you don't want to change a vertice but you want to change like a whole line you can click up here and then once again you can select g and drag out and lastly there is the face mode which is just the whole base face and once again by selecting g you can drag it and morph the shape if you want to rotate it you can press r and rotate the shape around as well and if you want to change the scale you can press s on your keyboard and that will change the scale of the object now if you want to extrude the shape you can hit the extrude button and then drag up and if you want to bevel it just hit the bevel option and then go to one of the sides and you can change the bevel like so if you don't want a hard shape like so you can bevel it by using your mouse scroll wheel and that will make it a nice soft curve instead of the hard edges now if you want to actually sculpt the square what you can do is go to the gear icon right here or the wrench icon i should say and then select subdivide surface and from here you can increase the vertices like so and then you can apply it then once you view it in edit mode you can see all the new vertices we added to the object now if you ever want to switch between object mode and edit mode keep in mind edit mode is where you're going to be doing the editing hence edit you can do this by selecting the tab key on your keyboard next thing we're going to do is select the object by just clicking it and then go to the sculpting tab and then you can just sculpt however you want on the left side is all of your brushes so as you can see i'm making these bumps on this circle just to showcase how this works or you can do indents like so and that pretty much sums up the whole sculpting aspect now to add colors to your object just select it and then scroll till you see this icon right here and then hit the plus icon to add a material and then select base color and then you can change whatever color you want to add but you'll notice that the color hasn't changed and this is because you're not in viewport shading mode so click this up here and it will put you in that mode and you can see the color on your object so these are all the basic tips of using blender the most important features that you're going to be using obviously there's so much more to this program but this is basically what we're going to be using in today's tutorial 
So I'm going to start by hitting general again and deleting the cube from the screen because we're going to start from scratch. So the next thing we're going to do is add a reference image. You can do this by hitting control shift A or shift A, sorry, not control and finding your reference image. We're going to be using this sauce bottle because, hey, my name is sauce and why not? So because our base shape is kind of like a cylinder, what we're going to do is hit shift and A and then find the cylinder option and it will bring up this cylinder right here. Then we're going to change around some of the dimensions and vertices. So I'm going to scale the cylinder up so it's kind of matching the sauce bottle. Then I'm going to select the F key and then I'm going to find this loop cut option right here. And now you can click and adjust the loop and basically it's going to cut off this cylinder so we can make the adjustments to make it look like that bottle. So I'm going to make like two to three loops here so we can get to sculpting. Now the next thing I'm going to do is make those adjustments I was talking about earlier in this video with the different curves. Now this whole process is just using the skills I taught you at the beginning of this video. Don't worry if you mess up. Trust me, I've been using Blender for a decent bit and it is a very complicated program, I must say. There is so many different things I'm constantly forgetting and I'm by far not a master user using this software. So if it gets frustrating, don't worry, everyone is in the same boat as you. This is one of those programs that is very advanced. So now that I'm done sculpting it, it's time to shade this bottle. We're gonna add that color. We're gonna use the color selector and select the color of the bottle. So to get that red, and we're gonna add it to our own bottle. Another thing you can do is add this subsurface color. We're going to make it kind of orange so it complements the red. Now we have to add the cap of the bottle. We're going to do this by adding yet again another cylinder and repeating essentially the exact same process we just did. Next, we're going to select the light source and change it so we can get that nice reflection off the sauce bottle. I'm going to change it to an area light selection. So next thing we're going to do is make this more like an NFT and we're going to add eyes to it. We're going to use the exact same process by hitting shift A on the keyboard and it will bring up the circle. But we're not going to want to select the circle option. You're going to want to select the UV sphere option so that it's 3D. Then we're going to drag it a bit smaller. Then we're going to add like a half sphere over top of the already there sphere to give it a nice eyelid feature. Next thing we're going to do is add an iris. You can do this by individually changing each of these square grids, or I guess they're not square, they're more like rectangles, but you can change the colors of each grid part in the sphere, which is a very cool feature in Blender. So that's how I made the eyes. The last thing we're gonna do is change the light adjustment on this NFT. You wanna get the reflection right so it looks the most realistic. So I'm just playing around with the different camera angles and the different light sources, playing with the angles they come in at. Once you're finished, just go to the top where it says render and make sure that your output settings are where you want it to be output at and once it's rendering it'll bring up a image like so until it's fully rendered out as you can see i put a light source coming in from both directions so there's two different shadows obviously you probably don't want to have two different shadows it's not super realistic but this was just for the tutorial so yeah guys that's going to complete this tutorial on how to create your very own 3d nft art if you want to see more NFT related tutorials, make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video. Also check out my NFT course that will be linked down in the description. Peace. See ya later. Thank you for watching the video.